What's up everybody? Now this video is about how I got into 3D. Now I know some of you have been wondering how I really got started. Now I got into video editing seven or eight years ago and uh, I was constantly pushing to to understand more and more about you know just general video stuff. So it pushed me around till I got into After Effects. And with After Effects I was, I was watching a lot of tutorials. Now of course I wasn't making anything because I felt like I just knew everything because I was, I was watching all the tutorials. Then people just started heavily pushing this thing called uh, Element 3D. And I was like, Element 3D, what is this? So I tried to, I tried to get it, I was doing some research and everything. And I didn't seem to, to like it so much because it, it seemed really, it really basic. I, I was like, you can't make Kung Fu Panda or any other um, animated film using something like three, um, Element 3D. So I started to look around, I watched more and more tutorials, and then uh, some people were pushing into uh, 3ds Max, and they would integrate this into their After Effects work. And I was like, whoa, this 3ds Max thing, it looks, it looks kind of, out, out, out of, it looks kind of, now of course I didn't judge this software based on what it can do, I just looked at the interface, and it looked really old, especially coming off of After Effects 2000, I think it was like the 2013 version, and it looks really clean and sleek. And then I go to 3ds Max and it just looks old and, and just weird. So I downloaded it anyway. I think I got a trial version or something. And I was using it and it was just extremely hard to, to get into. And I was really trying to get 3ds Max to work for me because I was like, this is the industry standard. This is what everybody's using, right? And uh, of course, on all the lists and everything, everybody says 3ds Max is the top, yada, yada. But then I found that one thing that kind of pushed me, you know, to, to something else. And that was that 3ds Max is a game, uh, heavy, uh, software. So I knew I wasn't trying to get into game. I was trying to get into film. So of course I, I started to look around more and I found its brother and that was Maya. Now with Maya, I opened it up. It looked nice. It looked really clean and everything. So I was prepared to, to jump into it with everything I had. Now, I think this was like 2014, 15. I started to, to understand the modeling tools and some of the rigging tools and everything, but I still wasn't making anything. Like I wasn't producing anything. Now, when I was pretty heavy into Maya, a friend of mine introduced me to Blender. And this was like 2014, 15. And when I saw Blender for the first time, it looked worse than, um, than uh, 3ds Max to me. And I saw it, I was like, nah, this joint is garbage. Now, about a year or so later, another friend of mine, he uses Blender. He's an actual Blender user. The other guy didn't know anything about Blender when he first introduced it to me. He just said, oh, you're a 3D guy, so just use, just look at Blender. So, of course, I, I kind of just shut it down. Now, this, this other friend of mine, he was, a, he was a Blender user. He actually made stuff. He actually did some stuff. And I was like, whoa, whoa, this thing, this thing is nice. But I still didn't like the interface, so I stuck with, with Maya. And I just kept working with Maya, and then uh, I started to uh, I started to push towards like um, short films and stuff. After uh, my friend told me to model a ship for him, so that's what I did. And I was like, wait, if I model the ship, maybe I can make this little animation with it. So that's when I really put my skills to the test, and I was able to make something that was acceptable. I guess I guess looking back at it now, it's it's so pretty okay. Then I kept pushing and pushing. Then I went into visual effects stuff because it was easier for me. And that's when I started posting on YouTube. I just started posting just quick visual effects stuff that I was, I was making. And then I just kept working and working and working. And then when my film was completed, I put it out and I took a little hiatus from 3D in general because I was kind of burned out. So uh, I got reintroduced to Blender and this was Blender 2.8. And when I saw the newest update, I was like, whoa, this joint looks sleek, it looks clean, it looks amazing. So I started making videos about it and here we are today. Now that was a quick summary of my journey into the 3D world. And uh, feel free to leave your thoughts down below and I wanna get a discussion going. So until next time, bye.